Hey, I'm Brad. I'm here with Rob with the Chair Slayer Foundation. And Rob's going to go through and show us how he um, set up uh, his press brake, the RMT uh, B Smart press brake that he's got, and formed his bump bend to be designed here in SolidWorks. Yeah, so that's one of the nice things about this press brake is the control is very intuitive, uh, especially with it being touchscreen. On this nice small machine, you can get a lot done in a nice small little package. So, in order to do a bump in like this, usually you would program each step by hand, but with the Dell M58 uh, control, you can do it really easily. So, let's just make a program. I probably have one that's named that already, but. So, all we have to do is in this pro in, in this we just have to pick and choose where you want to put it but I need to edit this radius so we go in there hit properties the angle that I need to have it is down here so we'll check that is 121 degrees so up here we need a 121 degree bend width sorry we need to change it to bumping 121 degree bend with a 5.17 radius. And you want to do it in 10 segments. Boom. So there we have that. And then what we need to change on this is we need to just get our dimensions for the point on how long that is so that the back edge lines up correctly. 9.719. And since this is, we're not worrying about the front, we're still gonna just change this to 9.719, just so it programs it correctly. So we've got that part. We go over here and select our tools. I only have a few tools, but I wanted to use this high punch, super simple. Now we just go to our bend sequence. And now it's going it's going to give us some errors just because of the V die width is a little bit closer to the shoulder as you can see right there but that's no big deal and what we do is hit compute there we go now we have So we just run it. And that is it right there. In order to go and bend this, let's go in the program. Give it a quick second to figure stuff out and then go we'll run it in auto you can have it in graphical or you can have it in main whatever you want to do and then after that Awesome. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate Absolutely, it. Man.